every time you bring physics into a discussion about fantasy or sci-fi comic, God kills the cat girl. Please, think of the cat girls. There's only one cat girl that I care about. How the fuck could you say that? Very easily. I open my mouth Who? and words come out. Who? Selena. I like cats. That's literally the only one? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Patsy Walker. Greer Grant. Felicia Hardy. Meh. Meh. Yeah. Nothing for Hellcat, Tiger, or Black Cat. Nope. What about Chitara? Yeah. Or Kit. Little cute Kit. I mean, come on. Kill off all the Thundercats. God shall smite thee! <laughs> what about the teacher from Rosario to Vampire? Who? Yeah, that's right. You don't watch good stuff. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so Squirrel Girl's tail <laughs> is impossible to have no, a normal she... looking... She curls her tail up and like shoves the fuzz around and yes, it just looks like she has a little bit of a bubble butt. A little awesome. bit. Of, it, it's impossible to have a little bit of a bubble butt with a, a squirrel tail that's five foot long. She makes it work, God damn it! Or sometimes she uses a dress. I have the proof. I'm currently showing knock proof. So it it looks like she has. So it looks so it looks all normal. There, and there's shit. a huge bulge coming out the front. I can't actually read those panels right now because that would be spoiling it. And last time I did that, last time I was like, you know what, I'm just going to look for an example in a comic to show somebody. I found out that the fucking Geomancer died. It happened. By the way, spoilers if you haven't read The Valiant yet. K dies. It's okay. They have an, But it's okay. The Book of Death is supposed to be about what, what happens to K afterwards. And then there's going to be like this really, really cool comic series that Valiant's doing that is only available at your local comic shop. It will never be put out at big, big box stores. It will never be released online. It will never be collected in trades. In order for your comic shop to get this, P get this thing, though, they have to order a shit fuck ton of Book of Death. But to have a comic called Book of Death, shouldn't people die? She didn't die in Book of Dust. She died in The Valiant. Yeah. It was a four-part miniseries. So, but somebody has to die, so there is a Book of Death. Not really. Then there wouldn't be a Book of Death. What if it's the character Death? I'm pretty sure the Valiant universe has their own version of Death. Death is from Vertigo. Oh, yeah. So And Marvel, you <laughs> jackass. <laughs> Hi! And, and Image, Hello, because son. Death shows up in... Uh, Pretty Deadly. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. By Kelly Sue DeConnick. Who? I'm gonna slap you. with my. I'm gonna take my shoe off and slap you with my dirty ass. Kelly off. Shoe, oh. that's that, uh, you know, like the poor man's... Uh, ah! I Look at that! <laughs> nice. I, can't, I can't believe you caught it. I literally threw my shoe and saw. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It happened. Wow. It happened. <laughs> and I'm just gonna sit here with my shoe off. Just waiting for somebody to make a rude comment about Kelly... Completely, completely, <laughs> completely off topic, not related to anything we're talking about. I just wanted to say I can work for you the 24th and the 25th. All right. So. Guess who's going to see the Steve Miller band? You're good, you're good to go. Yeah. Not you. You're going to see Tim McGraw. <laughs> yeah, surprise, <laughs> surprise, surprise. You think it's Steve Miller, it's Tim McGraw. <laughs> I'm going to flip a goddamn table if that happens. <laughs> I'm going to flip that table onto Tim McGraw. <laughs> yes, and then I'm going to look at Faith Hill, who's going to look all shocked and like pissed off that I just did that to her husband. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, I don't give a fuck. I'm a rock and roll guy. And I'll walk away. <laughs> well, you can be like, well, so seeing how you don't have a husband anymore, you want to like come home with me and my girlfriend? Or... <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure she'll be happy about it. Well, that. I'm just saying, options are on the table. Right? Got that Benatar's number? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just throwing this out there. Do you got her number? Maybe Joan Jets. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to be at Dolly the Parton? Speed Fest this year? Yes. Joan Jett. That's that's crazy. It was Speed Fest and Balloon Rally. And crazy. Wonderful, scenic Binghamton, New York. Yes. It's scenic. scenic. Yeah. We have speedies and balloons. Yeah. Yeah. What's that's the speedy? Spot. Speedy is cubed meat marinated in special sauce. So literally, literally anybody, everyone's been making speedies for eternity. It's just 
It's, someone it's a someone marinade. here decided someone here decided to give it a name. It's yeah. fucking special marinade. It's like a Michigan. It's special, all right. It's like a Michigan, which is a hot dog with a special meat sauce on it. So chili, oh, dog. chili. No, it's <laughs> yeah, not that's chili. It's a, it's a different type of meat sauce, you jackass. Without beans. So meat chili. It's a. It's not chili because it doesn't have other is than it red sauce. Meats. Brown. So chili. I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> So is it like Mary? That's it. That's it. When I go back to Plattsburgh and like on vacation crap, and I come back with a giant thing of Michigan <laughs> sauce from Michigan Plus, you ain't fucking getting any. So you get Michigan, a, you get Michigan sauce in Plattsburgh, New York. I can go on this. Thing. I'm very confused. <laughs> that is very confusing. I'm very confused. <laughs> They're just cold Michigan's. It has nothing to do with the goddamn state. Well, now I'm even more confused. Aren't we supposed to be talking about, like, comics No, this is the food shows? blog. This is the food blog, oh, right? Oh, shit. shit. We're doing the wrong one again. Does this place the chili dogs? <laughs> no, that's Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh. Yeah, he loves, he loves his chili. He's his chili fast. dogs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to check go, out my mac and cheese. They go fast right through him, too. Great. Yeah. Just so, like Amy Rose does. That's his propulsion. Just a screaming <laughs> shit of propulsion. <laughs> that's gross. That is gross. But completely true. So it makes sense. Yeah. That's why Fox has two tails, one to mop up with. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> I wanted to see them uh, give that game mechanic a try. Yeah. Where <laughs> Miles is mopping up shit with his tail. <laughs> with one of the tails. <laughs> with one of the tails. <laughs> Why well, can they can't make a good Sonic? He, uh, that's why he flies. You fly over. He flies the over. Shit. I can't follow Sonic anymore. I gotta fly over him. Yeah. So it was really a survival-driven game. Yeah, it was yeah. evolution, there. evolutionary yeah. trait. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense that he has that he's two tails and a pilot now. I'm just. Why can't they make a good Sonic game anymore? That's a good question. I mean. I understand they, they, they keep trying to put it into a 3D world, and maybe that's maybe that's the problem. And you just can't do Sonic in a full 360-degree range of motion, which that's sounds crazy. ridiculous to me. Yeah. But i got to say, almost every Sonic game I've played in a full 360-degree motion has not been up to snub for me. I don't know. And, and it's not, you know, not, I, I say that like it's a personal thing, but... From what I've seen elsewhere, that nobody really responds to those ones either. Where hedgehog? And yeah, yeah, well, there was that, which was like, it sounded cool on paper, but then you play it, and it's like, eh. well, 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 King Sonic Arthur. and Knuckles was two D, was it? Or was that three D? No, I think I think it was still two D mapped, but the actual like graphics were a little bit more. And it was three D. Third generation. Second yeah. Generation well, then the, yeah, yeah. And then they had uh, Sonic 4, which came out, like, 2010, yeah. and it, like, went back to its 2D side-scrolling thing, but I, I don't know if people may be just over Sonic by now, because it didn't really sell very well, so, because they, like, released it in episodes, episode 1, episode 2, episode 3, episode 4. Weird. But, I yeah. heard episode 4 was the best. And that one, two, and three were... Yeah, know. that's the thing. I've, I've only played episode one. And they're, like, really short. Like, episode one... I got that. Thank you. <laughs> uh, mm, I see. <laughs> I like, have a new hope for you. So. Yeah. <laughs> like, episode one was really weird because it was just, like, the first two stages. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It was just... It's kind of like a teaser game. Yeah, maybe it was just the structure. Their whole, their whole approach to it is maybe what's broken. Well, they did go under. Underground? So oh, you're still yeah. making games, though, aren't they? They're sort just, of. They're just, kinda. It's kind of like Atari, where they're making games, but it's on, like, Nintendo. Yeah, platform. they're basically a third party now, yeah. where they just make, like, yeah. controllers and some software. Yeah. You know, and they, they license out Sonic to be made by other people. You know, they really could have done Poorly. something with that Dreamcast, because the Dreamcast was an awesome, awesome device, but without that DVD drive... It had no chance of surviving. It was just what what a what a big mistake on their part. They did good for the first three months or so. Yeah. And then, and then PS2 came yeah, out. No, just, was it PS2 or was it PS1? It was PS2. Came out. Yeah, yeah. and, and it just, then everything it just dropped right off. Three words. It. Yeah. Echo the Dolphin. Yeah, man. Echo the Dolphin. I used to play that on uh, Sega Genesis all the time. That game was hard and infuriating, but it's one of those games where. 
even though you get so frustrated with it when you think you're not having fun, but you, you can't stop playing it. Like, even when you're done playing it, you're like, you're still thinking about it, and you want to go back and play it some more. Goddamn fucking Mega Man. And then Mega Man. And a new Mega Man animated series by, by Man, Man of, of Action. Action. Holy Hell shit. Yeah. Okay, for those listeners who do not know Man of Action, what is wrong with you? Um, No, <laughs> no seriously, this man, or people, I don't know if it's actually multiple people. Well, it's like... He, so far as he, I know, it's one he, guy. Th- as far as I know, it's one guy, but he's now has a, a man of action like focus team. group. Yeah, like man of action team. Yeah, kind of. We should just have, get a cartoon of him. Um, <laughs> this is the guy behind the amazing Ben Ten series, all of it. Um, which I mean, I wa- I watched through that and um, uh, Ultimate and Ultimate Alien or whatever. What the second one where they're in high school. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I want, um, and then just I didn't have time to keep up with that. But those first two, phenomenal. He's also the guy behind, at behind the very well-rated uh, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, one of the That's right. greatest oh, yeah. superhero cartoons yeah. since the '90s. And he he also does Ult- Ultimate Spider-Man, which honestly oh, yeah. is pretty cool. They've got some really good episodes in that. Oh yeah, that's like, like the Guardians. That's episode. Squirrel Girl in it, man. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And they just got renewed, Back actually. To Squirrel Girl, huh? No show that has Squirrel Girl can be bad. Mm-hmm. And I'm counting the Fantastic Four cartoon in this that had her there for four seconds. There was a Fantastic Four cartoon? Yes. Yeah. Like the 90s? No, uh, it was 2000s. Really? Yeah. yeah. I found the entirety of the series slash season one, because it's the same thing, huh. uh, for five bucks at Five Below. No shit. Picked I it never, up. Never and heard of actually, it. it was really good. Uh, her and uh, Flatman also of the Great Lakes Avengers, show up in an episode where Ben gets cured huh. and they need to replace Ben Grimm and they start interviewing people and they're two of the heroes that show up. They eventually replace him with She-Hulk. And, no uh, yeah, It was actually a really fun series. Oh, he also... They need Ben again, so he puts himself into a chamber and gets... Uh, yeah, well... I'm pretty sure they did that in the, the 90s cartoon. Ep- the episode got complicated with that. What's that? With uh, the fan with Ben, one? yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, because it was they Ugh. Reed had cured him, but by by taking a genetic map of him from before they went into space, the problem was that also reset the creases in his brain to back then. So he oh, had God. no memories of the Fantastic Four of their powers of right, anything. Right. Right. And while watching his friends go out and be superheroes, while watching. Yes. I'm going to throw my shoe at you again. <laughs> yeah. Just, I'm going to George Bush this thing. Oh. You're George Bush in this case. I don't Oh, that's right. Somebody threw a shoe at him. Yes. Right? Or did he throw a shoe at somebody? No, he got a shoe sure. thrown at him. He got a, sh- a shoe thrown at him. I'm going to go get my mac and cheese now because that's done in the microwave. Uh, is there going to be a shoe in it? I'm going to shoe you in a second. <laughs> Here, record on deck one. I think, I think Wave is going right. to kill everybody in this room. BCR one? Yeah. Okay. No, BCR one. BCR one. 